All right, we're building up to the big Guinness Pro 14 game this weekend. It's Leinster up against the Scarlets on Saturday from 3.15. You'll have lots of coverage right here on Off the Ball over the next uh, few days and uh, across Saturday afternoon as well. It's all with thanks to Lea Healthcare, who are the health and wellness partner to Leinster Rugby and on part as well of their launching of the hashtag It's Good to Live campaign. So to look ahead to the game, I'm delighted to say we're joined in studio, as you can see, by Mike McCarthy. Mike, very good afternoon to you. Thanks for having me back. It's, uh, it's great to be back. It's always a pleasure. Yeah. And one of the things we wanted to talk about was Ty Burns so we thought oh, there was nobody okay. better to get in but yourself um, it's an interesting yeah. one and it, like on the very top level it strikes me that if Ty wants to sort of he's got his Leinster history obviously but to mm. make an impression with his new club next season there is no better time than this Saturday to do that yeah exactly it's uh, it's a great signing for Munster uh, so he signed for two years he's um, he's been on great form hasn't he um, he saw last season winning the uh, winning the winning the league. They had that uh, f- fantastic win against. Well, it wasn't fantastic, but it was for us. But uh, you know that win against Leinster at the RDS in the mm. semi final, then beat Munster in the final. Uh, he he he's been a star player for them, um, and you know everyone everyone loves a battler. He 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 didn't didn't make in Leinster for whatever reason. You know he was out for a, a long period. I think nine months. There, the was there overlap like a two year overlap? I was looking. Was that right when you were? Yeah, there? He, no, he was there when I was there. And I mean, there's so many so many young guys coming through at Leinster, and um, he he was he was another player who he he wasn't getting the game time, but you saw his class in in mm-hmm. training. Um, He's 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 very strong. He's a real athlete. He's um, he's got a real engine on him. And I think I was just reading there that he's had twenty turnovers leading mm. into this game. So he's really good over the ball. He's really good at poaching, um, which is unusual for a second row. It is, yeah. I, think, great, Mike, I, don't, I don't I don't think I had twenty poachers in seventeen years. So uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, he's um, oh, he's a beast. He's really strong, as I said, powerful. And you saw his performances this season. A, a, a game springs to mind against in, against Bath in the Champions Cup, where he made Ant- Anthony Watson look pretty ordinary with a with an inside step. So uh, yeah, I don't think I ever stepped anyone either, but as well. But uh, um, no. And then I think Joe spoke about his performances back to back. You know, when they played Toulon away and Toulon at home, he he really stood out. And um, he's, he's, he's got great hands. I think that's something Wayne Pivik has really worked on him with. He's, he, so he, he he is pretty much the full package. He's good in the line out. Um, the the one concern I'd have for him is that for international rugby, is he is he big enough? Because you know, there's he. I think he's six four, six five. I'm six four, six five. But I mean, how many international second rows? They're all six, six seven, six eight, six nine nowadays. So um, that that would be my only concern for him. But he's he's definitely. Um, a form player, and you know he definitely, I'm sure, will be capped probably on the tour to Australia in the summer. Was there a part of you when you were at Leinster, kind of looking over your shoulder at Tigburn and thinking, "God, this guy could take my place"? Oh, there was plenty of lads uh, I was looking over my shoulder at. So, uh, you know, thankfully, in my last year at Leinster, last season, James Ryan was out with a with a hamstring injury, which was probably gave me an, an extra year, and. Um, yeah, Ty, Ty was one of those players for sure. As as I said, he was injured a lot in his in his last year at Leinster. I think he's out for the nine months. And uh, he, as, as I said, he saw his class in training. He, um, he he's he's a great player. So the he's a lock to begin with, and then sort of a bit of utility as well heads into the back row from all the skills that you've spoken about obviously it yeah. lends itself to that that capacity to win back ball and that yeah. versatility, versatility he'll probably get more of an opportunity to remain at lock yeah. at Munster and that will obviously help his Ireland chances as well. Yeah, I mean the great thing as well for getting into squads, if you can play back row and second row, that makes you even more valuable. So I mean, look at Hen- Ian Henderson; he can play back row and, and second row. So Ty Ty Byrne can do that. So yeah, but I think he'll be concentrating on, on on playing in the in the lock position. And he's really shown his versatility this uh, versatility this season. I mean, he's uh, Scarlets have had a few injuries to Jake Ball and um, Lewis Rawlinson. So he's he's played a lot of minutes and he's uh, he's really shown how you know how he can cope with playing week in week out, which is that that's another good sign for Munster. Yes. All right, Mike, thanks, William, for uh, coming into us. There's going to be lots of coverage of the Leinster Scarlets game right across off the ball over the coming days, and we'll have a reporter at the match as well. So stay tuned for all of that. It's all with thanks to Leia Healthcare, your health and wellness partner to Leinster Rugby. Check out the hashtag. It's good to live. Good to live. <laughs>